Hey guys, what's up? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders episode 18 review. Now, this episode, overall, it was a good episode. Fuck. Yes. The fucking sun. That was... That felt... Is it just me? Or did that feel like insanely overwhelming when you were watching this episode? But towards the end, of course, when the users appear, you're like, oh, well, that was that was fucking easy. Good. But when you think about it, could the stand user be considered fodder? I mean, not the stand, the sun. That thing was like, holy hell, overwhelming. But the user, <laughs> that was like, this dude, he, <laughs> he looked like nothing. He looked like fucking nothing dude but he could he be considered fodder since he doesn't have a name and he's defeated like order like God, that was good now you can argue that the first half or like the beginning part of this episode the pacing was like a bit slow but it was needed because it was just build up to this moment basically you know the purchasing of the camels you know they have to cross through the Saudi Arabian desert, so that was all just like exposition and set up for the next part of the episode. So the first part, and it was funny too, like Joseph and the camels, because we all know Joseph, he's funny as fuck. So that part, the pacing was not as good as the next half, but it was still necessary. Holy shit, that's the, I don't. My one gripe with the episode, other than that beginning half of the pacing, I mean, I don't like how they showed it in the beginning. The stand, I thought it was like a meteor when I first started, I'm like, holy shit, a fucking meteor. But then, going into the episode, I'm thinking, oh shit, it's the fucking sun. That, that's awesome, that, I like the stand, and I can't say that I don't like the stand user since... We don't even know this dude because it's an undefined user. But this whole episode, it was just insane when that when that stand just showed up and fucked shit up. They just they screwed with everyone in that group. And Joseph, this dude was funny for the whole fucking episode. Like, oh shit! Son of a bitch! Oh no! Like, all that shit was funny as fuck, dude. I mean, you cannot deny that Joseph is a funny motherfucker. But, in the end, I don't... I kind of don't like how he didn't figure out that, oh, he's just... The dude's just in a mirror. Because Joseph, dude, he's got, like, the most experience out of all of them. And, like... He couldn't figure it out. I would have preferred if, like, Kakyo Ween just figured it out, since, like, he figured out first, and he's, like, the, the smartest one of the group. Or, or we can assume, yeah, he's the smartest one of the group. So, I don't know. Plus, we cut into time of, like, everyone laughing, except Joseph. But, the stand, holy shit. This stand was fucking insane. I mean, when it first emerged, I'm like, oh, fuck, how are they going to beat this thing? And just think about it. They got lucky. Like, they got insanely lucky. Had they not noticed the mirror? Because this dude, like, he had a mirror, and he was hiding behind it the whole time. And it was reflection, re reflect, whoa, uh, re reflecting the rest of the desert so they couldn't notice in the beginning but then they noticed that two rocks looked exactly the same like a reflection mirror so and then of course Joe Tarp was like oh, uh. so when you look at that they got lucky because they encountered a stupid stand user apparently but like what if it was someone different what if it was someone who actually thought ahead and thought to themselves okay can't can't like place myself here because otherwise they're gonna find out because it's reflection of the rock gotta go to a place where there is really no terrain in general let's just say no rocks or boulders or whatever you want to call it just plain old sand then 
they can't figure it out. So if they got a stand user like that, they'd be fucked if you think about it. They would have just burned to death and it would be insane. Like shit. That would be this episode was just crazy. That when you see the sun the sun stand, I'm thinking, holy shit, this is so overwhelming. It's not even funny. I mean look, everything is incinerating. It like murks Kakyoin in like five seconds look with this flurry of like flames. So that was like holy shit. This episode was just, that last part was crazy, like but when I see this, and when I see this shit, I'm not saying this episode shit, I'm just saying, like, when I see this shit, I'm thinking, what's Dio stand? Like, god damn it. <laughs> what's Dio stand? Because when I see this, I think the maximum temperature that we saw in this episode with the sun went up to like 70 degrees celsius so like and it's incinerate it's incinerating everything mind you so i see this and i'm thinking what is dio stand what can and i didn't get any, i get spoiled to anything in jojo that that's good out of all the anime with all the anime i'm watching i actually haven't gotten spoiled to anything so that's pretty good but like What's Dio's stand? Like, what could be more powerful than this? And are there stand users that are like, who knows, maybe I'm overhyping or like overestimating the sun. But this was crazy. And I'm just saying, if if they didn't notice the mirrors, they'd pretty much be fucked. So that's all I really have to say for this episode. Overall, that last part was insane. Like, that was just crazy. But there isn't like too much to talk about this episode overall it was very simple but that doesn't change the fact that this was a damn good episode of jojo's and i just i also heard like news that they're gonna take a like a season break during the fall and will come back during the new year which kind of sucks but eh, what are you gonna do it's not i love jojo's but i'm not gonna lose sleep overnight knowing that it's not gonna be there for a season because we know it's coming back in the new year apparently and, okay, so, this is basically in my review, damn good episode, now I just want to go into a 15 second announcement, as I stated in my other reviews, I'm sure no one gives a shit about this, but I'm going to be away for two weeks, my One Piece episode review is probably going to be late, so I'll have to do a double review for that, and my reviews in general are probably going to be late, the second week from when I'm away, there's probably, like, halfway through the second week, there's probably not going to be any videos, I think. Because where I'm going for, like, the first week and a half, I'll have Wi-Fi. But for the rest of the time, I won't. Okay, so that's it. Damn good episode. See you guys later. <laughs>